everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video I will be recreating my own version of these candle holders that I saw on Pinterest using inexpensive materials. Let's go ahead and get started. To make my candle holders I am going to be using these boxes that I bought at Dollar Tree and I am going to be using four boxes and the lid of one box to make the tallest candle holder. And I will be using hot glue to glue the lids onto all of my boxes. For the smaller candle holder I use three boxes and the lid of one box. To give my candle holder some weight I am going to be filling up the lid with these tumbling tower game pieces that I bought at Dollar Tree. This is how the base looked once I was done. I had a gap right there because I couldn't fit another piece but that's okay. Now I'm going to be using hot glue to glue all of my boxes together. Once I was done I painted both of my towers gray so that the brown color didn't show through my design. Now I will be using these mirrored sheets that I bought on Amazon and they have adhesive on the back. I will leave a link for them in the description box below. I cut my mirror sheets into strips of 10cm by 2cm to cover up the sides of all of the lids. After measuring them out I cut out my strips and I'm using a paper cutter to make my lines straighter because I'm horrible at cutting with scissors but you can of course use scissors to cut them. I made a total of 36 strips to cover up both of my candle holders and I'm going to peel off the strip on the back and just stick them onto my candle holders. Then I remove the protective film from my mirrors, but I recommend that you leave them on until the end so that you don't have to worry about Mod Podge going onto the mirrors. Now I'm going to be using Mod Podge to glue on some crushed glass that I bought at Michael's and some fine silver glitter. After placing the Mod Podge onto my candle holders, I am going to sprinkle on my crushed glass and glitter, and I am going to do this to all four sides of the candle holders.
Once my Mod Podge had completely dried, I added a thin layer of Mod Podge to seal in the crushed glass and glitter. And then I let that coat of Mod Podge completely dry. Now I'm going to be using these 5 inch mirrors that I bought at Dollar Tree to glue to the bottom of my candle holders. And I'm going to be gluing it on with E6000. I made sure to center the candle holders onto the mirrors and set them aside to dry. Then I used two more mirrors but this time I removed the taps from the bottom. And I am going to be using these two glass candle holders that I bought at Dollar Tree and I will be gluing them onto my mirrors like this using E6000. After centering the candle holders onto the mirrors, I let them completely dry. After they had completely dried, I used E6000 to glue the mirrors onto my candle holders. And this is how my candle holders ended up looking. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for your love and support.